Today we're going to introduce you to the mapping capabilities of InfoAssist Plus. Maps are a great way to view geographical data and can help clarify where the most action is taking place. You can also compare maps to quickly identify unusual circumstances or new opportunities. There are two types of maps available in InfoAssist Plus. Choropleths, which color entire regions based on a specified measurement, and proportional symbol or bubble maps which can show measure values for specific points. Both can be created as chart-based maps or visualization-based maps. You can create a map in one of the following ways. In the Resources tree, right-click a folder, point to New, and click Chart or Visualization. On the home page, under Quick Links, click Chart or Visualization. If you chose to create a chart-based map, select your data and click the Format tab. In the Chart Types group, Select the map type that you want to use. If you chose to create a visualization-based map, select your data. On the Home tab, in the Visual group, click Change and select the map type that you want to use. For both map types, choropleth or bubble map, you need a location field to plot your data. Locations are plotted on a map according to a geographic role assignment, which determines where each value is placed. The geographic role could be a place name, or abbreviation, or a set of coordinates. Some data sources assign the geographic role for each field in the metadata. Others can be assigned when you add the field to the map. Because choropleths require defined areas, they tend to use place names or abbreviations as the geographic role. Bubble maps can use any of these geographic role types because they only require a single point to plot locations. Drag the field into the layer field container in the query pane. Notice that the canvas refreshes and displays a basic map. After you add a data field to the layer field container, you can save your map or enhance it to gain more insight. You can add data to the color field container. For choropleth maps, you can add a measure or dimension field, which colors the area of each geolocation value based on a color scale. For bubble maps, you must add a measure field, which colors the bubbles according to the same color scale as a choropleth. You can also add a measure field to the size field container to determine the size of the bubble for each geolocation value. In both chart types, you can also add tooltips to the tooltip field container, which appear when you run your map. These display additional information when you mouse over a point on the map. As part of the Web Focus and Esri mapping integration, you can also add map layers for more context. You can add a different background, demographic, or reference layers from the Format tab in the Map group. When you add a background, it displays a layer that positions data as it is located, in context to other geographical features such as streets, terrain, and imagery. Reference layers display boundaries and locations that range from a continental scale to countries or even local neighborhoods. Demographic layers display information about people or businesses in a specific demographic area. Using the built-in Map Viewer, you can access additional features that allow you to control the view of your map further. For example, you can control the opacity of the choropleth or the bubbles from the Layers menu on the map itself. You can also use the Pan Selection feature to drill down or navigate within the map canvas. This feature functions differently in chart-based maps and visualization-based maps. In a visualization, Pan Mode is the default and allows you to navigate the map by clicking and dragging. Changing to Selection allows you to filter the visualization by lassoing an area of the map. If some of the values in the data don't fit the assigned geographic role, they appear in a list at the bottom left corner of the map. You can change these values in the metadata if you uploaded the data. To do so, you must re-upload the data source and change the geographic role assignment. With the necessary data, you can also perform some of the same functions that you perform with a regular chart. For example, if you have hierarchical data, you can enable Auto Drill. This allows you to drill up and down in your map, for instance, from countries to administrative regions. You can enable Auto Linking to connect any related charts or reports with the same parameter. These target charts and reports must be set as auto linking targets and must have a parameter for the geolocation field used in the map. If you'd like to find out more, check the resources available in our Information Center.